What's up YouTube, this is Shabazz. And today we're gonna be checking out the new Planet of the Vapes Lobo. What's up YouTube, my name is Shabazz. I make educational, entertaining, and informative content about CBD, hemp, hemp flower, alternative cannabinoids, cannabis, and cannabis accessories. If that sounds right for you, make sure you go hit that subscribe button right now. What's up to my cannabis sewers? Hope you're staying healthy, hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. Like I said, we are going to be checking out the Planet of the Vapes Lobo. Okay, this is a big deal. This is a big device. This is gonna be a big video here on the channel, all right? Before we get into that though, I gotta give a huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. They are keeping the channel going and growing. Remember, my channel is not monetized by YouTube, so I rely on the support of my viewers and the community to keep producing content. So again, shout out to my patrons, shout out to all of y'all who cop the merch. We got the new self-medicated shirt out now, designed by me. And shout out to everybody who uses my coupon codes and links. I do have a link for what you see in today's video. All of that is down on my landing page in the video description or my website, shabazz420.com. Also, y'all i know a lot of you are leaving the hemp flower subreddit maybe you haven't been in it but you're looking for a community a forum type place to discuss hemp flower type 3 flower cbd cbg everything you see here on this channel make sure you check out the official hemp flowers discord there will be a link down in the description Today we have the Planet of the Vapes Lobo. Now you have probably seen this, you probably heard about it. This is the new full featured electric dry herb vaporizer from Planet of the Vapes. Planet of the Vapes is also well known for their Planet of the Vapes One, which is an entry level budget dry herb vaporizer. And with the Lobo, I think they tried to bridge the gap between products like the Planet of the Vapes One and then end game products like the Crafty and the Mighty. Full disclosure, I have been using this. I have fully tested this. I know all of about it and I like it all right so before we get further remember I have a link for the Lobo down on my landing page in the video description if you want to pick one of these up make sure you use that link to support the channel all right all right again here is the packaging standard stuff this slides right off you have a little apple-esque flap thing going on and that opens up to reveal the planet of the vapes Lobo Here's the Lobo, all right? Interesting name. They did have a public poll on what the names would be. They had like five or six different options. I don't even remember what the other ones were, but the Lobo one. So where does the Lobo fall into the world of dryer vaporizers? You know, what, where, where is it competing with? Why should you get this over this? Or, or is it complete trash? First of all, just on paper, the Lobo is more powerful, has a bigger battery, it has a removable battery, it has a bigger chamber, and more features than the budget vapes such as as a Planet of the Vapes and the X Max V3 Pro, both of which are sold by Planet of the Vapes. And those are both good entry level budget options, okay? That's what I've been recommending people who are new to dryer vaping or on a budget, but they want something good. And then you have stuff like the Crafty and the Mighty, where you're spending 300 or 300 plus dollars, all right? In the middle of those two things, between the entry level budget and the high end German stores and Bickle stuff, there's not really a compromise budget wise there is like the da vinci iqc and stuff but i feel like the da vinci vapes have their quirks and stuff they're not for everybody and that's where i think the planet of the vapes lobo comes in for me the planet of the vapes lobo is the perfect middle ground between something like the planet of the vapes one and the crafty or the mighty However, it is closer in price to the Planet of the Vapes one than the Crafty or Mighty. This packs a punch, it has a lot of features. Like I said, I've been using this vape and I really love it. First off, it has a USB Type-C charging port, so it's gonna be compatible with all your cords. That's a major, majorly important thing. It has a much bigger chamber than the Planet of the Vapes One and the x -Max V3 Pro, which is, again, a very major thing to many people. This chamber has about the same size, possibly a little bit more than the Crafty Plus. It has an LED screen with all your information, and what is gonna be really cool for some people is a fact. It has a removable battery. So it has a removable battery, a replaceable battery, meaning as many batteries as you got, if you're on the go, that's how much you can be vaping. And uh, even the Crafty doesn't have that, all right? All right, let's finish unboxing it though, before we get into that. All right, we got the tray, take that out. At the bottom of the box, we got this little accessories kit. Go ahead and open that up. We got pretty standard stuff in here. We got our USB Type-C charging cable. You know how important that is? We're in 2023, no more micro USB. We only need that USB Type-C, all right? We have a dosing capsule, some spare parts, a cleaning brush, and then a little dab tool. So it comes with everything you need to get started besides your flower, your herb, whatever that might be. Oh, and you can't forget, right here in the flap, we got our usual books and shit. 
plug them and file them. All right, and before I actually show y'all using this, again, I have to reiterate, I've been using it for a few weeks. I know a lot of y'all pre-ordered yours and you haven't even got yours. They just released recently. And let me say, I am really impressed with this. All right, they did a really good job with this. It is a lot of value. Let's put it to use though. Again, there's a chamber and like I said, it is much bigger than the Planet of the Vapes 1 or the X-Max V3 Pro. This is uh, about the same size chamber, possibly a very small amount larger than the Crafty Plus. Okay, and we got our legal smoking herbs in there. Keep in mind that this device nor anything on my channel is intended for the use or promotion of any sort of drugs or illegal substances or anything that violates YouTube's community guidelines. All right, let's go ahead and finally rip that sticker off, all right? So this goes from, I believe, 330 or 320 up to 430, 430 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? So we got a lot of room to wiggle with, whether you want more vapor production or you want more flavor, you got a lot of room to play with. So to turn it on, you click that main button on the side three times, and there's your display, all right? It has your battery percentage, session timer, and shows you the temperature that it's at and the temperature that it's going to, which is based on where you set it at. Right now it's at the lowest setting, 320. I wanna crank mine up to about, let's do 365. We'll get some flavor first. Okay, this is everything stock, no attachments. This is the mouthpiece that comes with it, and it heats up very fast. It heats up a lot faster than the POTV1 or the X-Max V3 Pro, all right? All right, here we go. So at 365, you're getting a lot of flavor, a lot of terpenes, not a huge amount of vapor production. I will say though, as you work down through the bowl, especially as you crank up the temperature, this has a lot of vapor production. And that's one thing I love because that is one thing that I and many people are very underwhelmed with when it comes to dryer vapes. You just don't get enough of a, a lung expanding hit like you do with smoke. So at the lower temp, like 365, I'm getting more flavor, but relatively good vapor production for those temperatures and for the price that this is at. All right, now let's crank this up to where I've been using it. I cleared out the bowl. I put a fresh pack of legal smoking herbs in there. And uh, let's go up to about 390, 400-ish. Right, we're at 390. A good amount of vapor production, but it's hotter at these temperatures. It's more spicier. It's harder on the back of the throat and stuff, so I'm not able to inhale it completely. But I haven't been hitting it at this temperature just by itself like this. I haven't, I haven't been raw dogging it, all right? Because another super cool thing about the Lobo is that it works with all of the attachments for the Planet of the Vapes 1 and the X-Max V3 Pro. Right here is the bubbler that fits all three of those. And this is what I've been using this vape with to cool down the vapor at these higher temps. We got the Lakers purple, it gives a nice little aesthetic. With the bubbler, it is much easier to get like full lung capacity hits at these higher temperatures, meaning you're getting more effects, you're getting more of those cannabinoids. And I just think that it's dope that they made this Lobo able to fit in with that same ecosystem of glass attachments that have come out with their other devices. So if you already own one of those other two devices and you have the bubbler or some of the other glass pieces, you could use it with this too. You can also use it with what I like to call their meth pipe attachment. This definitely looks like you've been uh, staying up for three nights in a row, stealing some uh, copper wiring from an abandoned property, but they got that and I might have it installed upside down. It might go like that. I don't know because I don't use this piece. It's just got too much of a tweaker aesthetic to it. That does cool down the vapor considerably. Wow. I wonder the science behind that. My absolute favorite attachment though is the water pipe adapter, which again is the same water pipe adapter for the Planet of the Vapes 1 and the X-Max V3 Pro. And this is actually my water pipe adapter for my POTV1. Go ahead and stick that right in there. Stick that right in there. Whew. 
Honestly, y'all, this water pipe adapter with the Lobo is the way to go, all right? Just sit here and take rips of that all day long. You get the flavor of a dryer vaporizer and you get the cooling effect of the bong so you're able to get big old hits and everything is nice. All right, so let me answer the questions that I know y'all wanna ask. First of all, if you already own something like the Crafty or the Mighty, should you go and get the Lobo? My answer is only if the replaceable battery is like a game-changing feature to you. Meaning if you go out on like mountain climbing or on road trips or you travel a lot or something and you need to be switching out those batteries, you, you don't have time to sit and let it charge, you know, after you get the, the 10 or so uses it advertises, then yes, okay, yes. But if not, if you just sit at home and, and you recharge your thing, no, if you already have a Mighty or a Crafty, I don't see any reason to go out and get this, all right? Unless, like I said, you really need the replaceable batteries or you just need this as like a secondary vape. You're looking for a, a secondary device maybe to take with you that's more budget friendly than absolutely. If you own the Planet of the Vapes 1 or the X-Max V3 Pro, should you go out and get this? And that, I'm gonna say, is gonna vary on a case-by-case -case basis. Were you already looking to upgrade? What is your budget if you were already thinking about upgrading but you knew you had to save up for a long time for something like the crafty or the mighty you might be satisfied with this okay you might be satisfied if you weren't planning on upgrading um, and you can afford to upgrade to this then yes, you want to upgrade to this. Most importantly though, if you are new to vaping, you've been shopping around, you've been researching, you want a new dry herb vape device, should you get this? And I will say, yes, 100%, you should get this. If you've been looking at the Planet of the Vapes 1 or the X-Max V3 Pro or the Starry or you know things in that budget, if you could save up another Ulysses S. Grant or so, you absolutely want to. This has way more power, way more vapor production, way more more uh, features, the replaceable battery. It's just way more of a high-end, premium, powerful device, all right? And like I said, it's closer to the price of the POTV one than it is the Crafty. So if you were already saving up for the Crafty, but it's just, <laughs> you can't seem to scrape the money together, it's just out of your budget, but you can afford this, absolutely just get this, all right? Get this, you will, you will be satisfied with this 100%. I just honestly feel like you get a lot of value with this device right here you get a lot of bang for the buck all right when you buy a stores and bickle device you are paying for that brand you're paying for that name you're paying for the the reputation and reliability that you're expecting from that name and with the planet of the vapes device sure it might not have the same pull as stores and bickle it might not sound or feel like a, as much of a premium device but um is pretty close, all right? It's pretty close for a lot less money. I think Planet of the Vapes did a really good job with the Lobo. And again, if you've been shopping around, you want a high quality thing, you've been looking at the Crafty, you've been looking at the Mighty, maybe it's too expensive. If you get this, you will 100% be satisfied, all right? This is, again, you get a lot of bang for the buck. I just think the price on this is really nice. It is at a, a nice kind of middle point between the budget and the high-end stuff, but it's closer to the budget pricing, all right? So again, Planet of the Vapes, did a really good job with this and they knocked it out of the park. I like it, I've been using it a lot. And remember, if you wanna cop one of these, I'll have a link in my landing page in the video description or on my website, shabazz420.com. All right, y'all, if you see this video, you got your Lobo, maybe you, you, you pre-ordered it right at the beginning, you got yours already. I wanna know what you think about the Lobo down in the comments. If you haven't gotten it, still let me know what you think about it. Is this something that you would be interested in? Also, y'all, make sure you check out the new self-medicated shirt and all my other merch in my merch shop. And don't forget to check out the flowers discord that's where it's at hit like if you like the video hit me up down in the comments subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can see when i upload new content i appreciate each and every one of y'all so so much and i sincerely hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night i'm gonna catch you on the next video peace